set for three three-minute rounds. Wesley Golden in the blue corner, Kai Calloway in the red. You can see here both men just feeling each other out, a couple of feints here back and forth. It's not often that combat that we do, you know, professional kickboxing, but when we do, expect fireworks. And Golden, the first to initiate. Thank you. Yeah, we've seen Wesley Golden fight in the Combatagon. Number before. of times. Yeah. The MMA. Yeah, this is, in fact, his kickboxing debut. Yeah, I wonder what's the difference. Um, as just far as the preparation goes for a fight, you know, planning on striking with those big gloves versus with those little gloves. And, you know, not having to uh, think about the grappling or the takedown aspect of things yeah, just has to be a relief. Hands. Exactly. Just the hands and kicks. I don't have to, you know, spend those grueling. Now, no matter what, you know, when it comes to combat sports, it is going to be a grueling, you know, practice and training sessions. But at least I don't have to worry about, you know, my butt hitting down on the canvas and, you know, those hard, you know, shark tank. You know, rounds depending upon if you're going with guys that are bigger with you and, and whatnot. Don't have to worry about grinding against the, the cage and the wall. You can just focus on, you know, bag work, sparring, hitting mitts, throwing hands. And pretty much that's what everybody wants to see. That's what, you know, most fight fans want to see. To make it interesting, maybe next time we can have, a, you know, little glove kickboxing. We have done that as well. well. We need to bring that back. You got to talk to, to Mitch or Richard Cox. Man, hey, man, let's do some more, some more kick, professional kickboxing bouts, whether it's big gloves or little gloves. Oh, both men are throwing simultaneous at the same time. I think Wesley got the, the better of that exchange there. Somebody throws a body shot, somebody throws a head shot. I think the head shot person is winning that exchange every time. Oh. I don't know if he got tripped up by the ref there or... Less than 10 seconds here in round number one. Both guys taking their time in that first round. Yeah, they're definitely easing, you know, easing into it. Neither guy getting too busy there in the first, so... Yeah, I wonder if they're just, you know, trying to save it for later or if that's just, just both men have a lot of respect for their opponent's game here when it comes to the strike, striking aspect of things. Either one wanting to overcommit. But the crowd got a little restless there in the first, so with the kickboxing, you, you expect to see quite a bit more volume. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, maybe if it was little gloves, because this, you know, this is America. So America likes to see, you know, Action. Big action, knockout. So you give these guys some little gloves, you'll definitely see that. Getting ready to get things started here, the second round. Oh. oh. See, that's what the fans want to see. Kai looking to pick things up a bit, push the pace, controlling the center of the cage. The 
heavy low kick there from Golden. Yeah, you can see the leg there of Kai Callaway already turning red. Significant discoloration there on his left leg. Switching back and forth there from stances, South Point Orthodox. To me, you don't want to switch your stance unless that's a part of your game plan. But as soon as somebody you know lands a couple low kicks and now you switch in stance, to me that only builds confidence. They smelling blood in the water of your opponent there. Like, oh yeah, I got this guy, man. He want to switch stance. Wesley needs to go go back to that. Chop chop those legs down even more, especially since Kai Cataway has a significant reach advantage. If he's smart, Kai is going to continue to utilize that range. But Wesley needs to bob and weave, get inside, uppercuts, and leg kicks. Look, he almost had one there. It looks like Wesley is trying to make this a brawl. Big overhand right there. And he, land he landed it, but then he just, you know, um, crowds his own punches like that. This isn't Muay Thai. This is just regular kickboxing, so there's no ability to clinch it, so it it really does him no service to come in there and just, you know, initiate closing the distance there for your opponent. Stay at your range, land those bombs like he wants to do. But see, he lands two or three punches and then just lands, lays on them. That's his MMA background, used to closing that distance and getting into a clinch. Yeah, for a takedown, but you can't do that here. Because every time you do, referee Isaiah Cabal is going to break it up. In the first round, Golden showed a little bit of a tendency to uh, turn a tendency to turn away a little too much, and he just kind of shifted his shoulders a little bit. If Kai puts some pressure on him, it looks like he. Yeah, ten seconds left in round number two. Then the round number two there. More work done in that round by Kai Calloway. Yeah, he needs to, the, the key to victory, the key to success here for Kai Calloway is going to utilize your range. I don't think he understands how long exactly he is. But if he just continues to pop that jab out there, followed by, you know, uppercuts and knees as Wesley is trying to, you know, rush in, that, he, I don't see why he can't eventually knock him out. Wesley Golden is coming in so charging heavy. All Kai Kalo got to do is just counter with uppercuts and knees. Third and final round coming up. Yeah, this right here is where Kai Calloway needs to stay at his range there. Everything should be behind the jab, behind your strikes. See, same thing. I think now Wesley Golden is a little bit of fatigue. That's why he's just coming in and just laying on top of Kai. But if Kai is smart, there you go. He's initiate that clinch and some knees. Oh. Wesley still got some, some power, some heat in those hands. If he just stays behind that cross and lands a couple more times, man, this fight will be more so in his favor. But he lands one or two strikes and it just lays on him. Referee Isaiah Cabal warned him, man, you know, stop doing that. Yes, 
90 seconds left in the third and final round. The official gave him a warning, so I'm going to take a point if you keep doing this. And he said, what am I doing? So maybe not a total clear understanding of the, uh, the, the rule set. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a language barrier there. I'm not sure. That's always my, you know, defense for international fighters, language barrier. Maybe they don't understand. Hey, guys, miss me? Welcome back. Yeah, we did. We got to be on, like, fight number four. I'm so sorry. This has been a... Um, a hugging match. It, are we hugging because Che is accepting the clinch, or is Wesley playing smart for the game and battering overhands into a tie -up? He is not battering. Oh, well, he is doing a little bit of that. Yeah, that's why we have this, you know, striking international striking expert Ben Stark. Because Ramsey and I, man, we're just we're we're American fight fans. We want to see some blood. <laughs> Neither guy has been too busy. It was a groin shot there. Ten I think seconds it's left cups fall. Need a better jock shot. <laughs> Man, it blows my mind how how often fighters like they'll buy four hundred dollar gloves, but twenty dollar jock strap and wear it for eight years. <laughs> yes. And that's it right there. The third and final round. That's a wrap. I give that about to All right, ladies <coughs> and gentlemen, the judges have reached a decision, a split decision at that. For your winner, out of the red corner, Kai Calloway. Congratulations to Kai Calloway.